Hello, welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a composite picture now where you t combine two pictures, taking one L element of one and putting it into the other one to make a new picture. And you can be really creative in what you do here. This one's going to be very simple. So I'm going to put something into this one here and then take it from this other picture, which is this kind of statue here. So I'm going to go to the selection brush and go over here, right square bracket to make it a bit larger. Make sure I've got add so there and snap to edges and soft edges is useful as well. So I'm just going to click on this and select down here. Then alt click areas to take anything off. So you can even go into that one there. Left square bracket to do that and Alt, just click on there. Sometimes just single clicks is all you need. Control zero. So there we go. There's a little bit up there to add. There we go. Okay, I can do a refine if I like. Just to check that it's all right. That looks okay. And and when I do the output here, I'm going to output to new layer. So I'm going to apply that. And there you've got the new layer itself. I'm going to take a copy of that. So right click and copy or control C and go to the other layer. And I'm just going to do a control V there to paste. Now that's a bit big. So I go to the move tool. So I got the nodes appearing around the outside. Grab one of those and just pull that down. So I can see that up here. Let's put it on the corner there and zoom into there to it. I can adjust that a bit to suit. And I can sort of put it on there and I can play around with it afterwards just to make it sort of blend in a bit more. But first of all, I'm just going to go out here and look at the key thing here. It looks out of place because it's a different tone. So you need to match the colour and tone when you're bringing things together. So for the this one here, the bottom one, which is the big statue, I'm going to make that a bit lighter. And what I'm going to do to use to do that is I'm going to go to the adjustments here and go to shadows and highlights, which is a very, very simple tool. And all you do with this is it takes looks at the shadows and looks at the highlights. They know the darker and lighter areas because the darker areas here are all in this statue here. So if I turn up that, I was just going to make that lighter. Too far looks odd. So it goes somewhere where it looks realistic. And that's quite natural. Notice here, by the way, that this has been put in as a child layer and click the triangle there. So I don't have to worry about groups or anything like that. And that's all set properly through the assistant manager up here. And these three here all set to be child layer. So if I do the same for the pixel one here, only now I'll let's go to adjustments there and curves. And see again that's gone to automatically the child layer. So it's only this one's going to be affected. And I'll just pull the middle of this down to darken it off so that it is about the same lightness and darkness of that image. Then I can maybe go back in here and look and see if I can tidy that, this make that a bit more realistic and that fitting in there. So I could do things like I could sort of knock off some art areas here. So what I'll do is I'll click on this one here and I'm going to put a mask on. So I go to mask. So this is going to apply to this layer. So I need to make this sort of fade out here. So I need to go to that mask here, get a brush. And I need to make that a black brush, make that pretty soft. I can even try sort of hovering over here just to look at how this affects it. So maybe I'm just going to kind of go over here a bit. Then if I come down over here, then that sort of looks a bit better there. I can even put in a little bit of shadow in that if I wanted to. So I go to a pixel layer here, get a paintbrush from here and set this a little bit 
lighter here and I'm sort of painting a bit of shadow down there so it kind of helps to blend it in and makes it look a bit more realistic particularly when I go out here and uh, there we go there's our image a just an ordinary statue here but with rather strangely another one sitting on the corner but there you go that's the idea of how to do a composite picture thank you very much for watching